Sarah over at Rockfin says, I'm curious how people reconcile the masks, lockdown, SARS-CoV, uh, and how it relates to trust in government institutions. Those institutions have approved uh, glycopostates, toxic pharmaceuticals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera that have, ca uh, that have uh, caused harm. Uh, just uh, like to hear you take, uh, just like to hear you take, Krish. Uh, you know, that is, yeah, that that's one of those things that I think leads to conspiracy thinking. And you're absolutely right. Uh, because the thing that I was talking to my sister about was when Pfizer came out with the vaccine. The first thing I said to her is, well, I don't trust Pfizer. It's not that I don't trust vaccines or science. I don't trust a company that's trying to turn science into a profit model. Um, and, you know, companies that have approved toxic pharmaceuticals. Where I, I mean, I was literally watching a commercial with Dit the other day, with the Golden Girl the other day. And one of the side effects of this blood pressure medication was accidental death. And I was like, why is this on the market? <laughs> right. And so now, I mean, you can kind of see the way that they're that they are um, really fucking desperate to get people to trust them when they've just had this laundry list of reasons why you shouldn't. And look, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and say, don't take the vaccine. Da, 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 da. Um my view is I I think Moderna is a better vaccine than Pfizer uh, because from what I know, Moderna seems less evil than Pfizer. Uh, the Johnson and Johnson one, you know, I, I, I look at the efficacy of it and I'm like not particularly fond of that. Uh, AstraZeneca is completely different than what Moderna and Pfizer have put out. And all these companies have their problems. What it should be is, you know, if you want people to trust you, companies like Pfizer need to come out. Companies like Monsanto need to come out and be like, look, we fucked up uh, and we fucked up bad. And we're going to take responsibility and we're going to like take a large chunk of our, our you know, multi-billion dollar profits and give back to communities that have been harmed by this uh, by this pandemic. And uh, we're going to give out the vaccines for free and we're going to we're going to roll it out. You know, we're going to do our best and da, 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 and show some good faith. But they don't. Um, in fact, a lot of the, in a lot of these instances, like. No one really call, talks about how Pfizer fucked over African countries, um, you know, so. That was that's my concern, the 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 corporate the corporate profitism is my concern uh, over do we need to get people vaccinated? The other thing too is we need some transparency and, and maybe science doesn't have the answer yet because this is something new. We need to have some kind of an answer in terms of, is this going to be a yearly thing? And if this is going to be a yearly thing, I hope in 2022, the fac fucking vaccine rollout isn't as atrocious as it is in 2021. I hope somebody's taking notes. I hope somebody is going to do uh, an analysis of how things were rolled out and to say, hey, we really fucked up in these categories and here's how we can fix them. Really what this is showing is corporations have um, benefited off of the misery of other peoples for so long that now when corporations have the infrastructure for mass vaccine rollouts to vaccinate the globe, no problem, a lot of people don't want to do it because they have a bad relationship with that corporation. So really... We should be thinking about restructuring uh, corporations and and rethinking our relationship with cor with corporate America in and of itself. Um, and and you're right; a lot of people don't trust that, and they don't trust government institutions because government institutions have worked so closely with corporations. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things where I'm like, cool. I'm all for science. I'm all for this stuff. But when you corporatize science. When you're trying to build a profit model off science, that's where the trust starts to go out the window. Um, you know, so uh, there were there were demos in New York that called out Pfizer. Yeah, and there should be. And Pfizer needs to come out and uh, legitimately apologize, not some legalese apology. We're talking about legitimate apologies um, and and put their money where their mouth is and financially, you know, show that you're you're willing to help the people show that the people can 
trust what you're saying. Um, but it is it is really difficult, and it is a tough uh, tough thing to navigate. You know, uh, I I I I did a piece a couple maybe a month or two ago, particularly about how um, conspiracy thinking comes from trauma and the inability to trust uh and, and like corporate trauma specifically like, like like how capitalism creates trauma which then leads to conspiracy thinking uh and and you know uh juxtapose narratives they confuse people and uh and and that can very easily lead you down conspiracy thinking so yeah uh vaccines like like i said i think moderna would be the would would be the option that i would be more trusting of but the corporation behind the pfizer vaccine which is pfizer that's where i land my problem i hope that answered your question in some way um thank you so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed this content uh please make sure that you hit the like button hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of uh, of various shows that I uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.